Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on how I make my pinwheels. Now this is nothing new. Um, there are tutorials everywhere out there that you can watch. Um, the one that I used for like my overall measurements was from Craft Purge. Um, and the only thing I did different from hers is to make it to where this can actually spin. So it's like an actual little mobile pinwheel. Um, and also, uh, my straws that I had didn't really match the collection, so I did wrap uh, the straw in some ribbon. Um, we will do that together as well. But here it is. You can do any color combination, any theme, and I love that it can actually move. So we're going to make one together. All you're going to need is a piece of a straw. This is about two and a half inches. I have a little brad. This is a piece of paper one and three quarters by one and three quarters, and then I just have some scrap ribbon left over again um, to wrap my straw. If you have a coordinating straw to your paper, you won't have to do this part. Um, so what we're going to do, I have my hot glue heating up as well. So all we're going to do is on the corners of our paper, you kind of kind of like imagine where the center is, and you're just going to cut up towards where the center is going to be. You don't want to actually hit the middle where the middle would be. So you just do that on all four corners. Okay. And on Craft Bridges video, she actually made a dot in the center to kind of give a guide. Um, for anyone who might be struggling. So what I'm going to do is regardless of what corner you want to work with. So like for me, I'm probably going to work with the left hand corner, meaning every time you turn it to start your pinwheel again, start in the same corner. I'm working the same corner that you started in. So I actually want it to go this way. Do I want it to go this way? No, I want it to go this way. Um, and what it, what it's going to matter is how much of the print is going to show on this side compared to this side. So I want more of this print to show. So what we're going to do is kind of bend our paper and where we're going, where we're aiming for is to get that point in the center right there. So I just take a little bit of glue, like a little bit, that's even too much right there. And then put it on the center. Hold it there. And then I have my little silicone nubby thing here to press. And again, let's turn on the left. We're going to just try to aim for right on top of there. Okay. All right. There we go. Oh my God, I have dog hair everywhere. My dogs are shedding right now, so it's unavoidable. <laughs> okay, so again here, we're gonna come up to the center. A little drop of glue. And then put that guy there. Okay, then our last guy. It's gonna go right there. And the reason I kind of bend it before I glue it is kind of, it makes it cooperate a little better. You definitely don't have to. Okay. that guy down all right so now you have your basic pinwheel shape and so then what I'm gonna do is I have a 1 8 inch punch and I'm just gonna take a piece of scrap and cut out just a little piece um, because you can kind of see the glue on there and even though I'm gonna have a brad um, you'd still be able to see it a little bit so I'm just gonna take this 
dab a little bit of hot glue and then just plop that in the center. Okay, let that sit for a second. And so then we'll just move this to the side. Again, this next part you won't have to worry about if uh, you have coordinating ribbon. So all I do, honestly, is just we're going to start it up here and then just twirl it around. And I'll, I'll add glue every... Alrighty, so we have that on there, and all we're going to do is just wrap Okay, and then every once in a while We're going to hold it there A little bit of glue And keep wrapping Okay Going, going, all right. And again, you can just imagine how quick this would be if you didn't have to do this part. And I ran out of trim. Okay, just gonna finish that off. Okay, and I'm just going to grab another piece. And we will just continue on. Okay. We will continue on. Sorry guys. Okay, keep going. Okay. We're gonna finish this off. Sorry for getting out of frame, guys. Alrighty. So we can just snip this little piece off. Okay, and we're just snip off that bottom. Okay. So it was starting to unravel a little bit, so I just took a little bit of glue. Okay. So from here, we're just, I'm actually going to use this side. We're just going to press this down, flatten this out. About half an inch or so. Uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe closer to like three quarters of an inch. Just flattened out. I'm going to take my crocodile, just whatever little small punch you have. Just going to try and get it kind of centered. You want to go down. Um, right about there. This isn't anything you're going to see, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So you see our hole in there, probably two millimeters down or so. And then we're going to do, try to center here. And punch. Alright. And so then we just have to take this. Take our eyelet. We're going to place that through there. Place this through here. 
and just close it off. And then here you go, guys. There you go, you have your pinwheel that actually spins. And then you can go ahead and decorate this however you want. Crawford Purge did, I think some little twine maybe, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, you can do whatever you would like from here. So there you go guys, some simple materials to make some really cute embellishments. Go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.